Hey y'all, welcome back to Mama Loves Manga. In my last video, I talked about the single volume series that I have on my shelves right now. Today I am continuing my bookshelf tour series and I'll be talking about the single volume omnibus titles on my shelf as well as series on my shelf that have two volumes. So let's get into it. But before we do, I do want to say that I apologize to everyone who has commented on my last video and has not received a response from me. I know I'm slipping. I'm usually really good about responding to people's comments, but I'm not gonna lie, I posted that video the same day I was fixing to leave to go visit my cousin for like four days. I posted that video and then just drove on down to Dallas and kind of just forgot about all y'all on the internet. I was living my best life with my cousin in Dallas. We got lit, we stayed lit. I think I got on Twitter like twice that entire time. And then once I got home, I was recovering, okay? I also didn't have much of a voice. My voice is just now coming back, y'all. I apologize profusely for, for ignoring y'all, but I'm back, okay? And I will be responding to comments henceforth. <laughs> so I'm going to start out with my single volume omnibus titles and we're going to start with Wish by Clamp. I have not done a manga chat on this one but I have read it and I love this so much. I do plan to film a video where I rate Clamp's titles from my favorite to least favorite. It is going to be a while before I get to that because I want to read everything. I have read quite a bit of their titles. I own all of their titles but it, they just have a lot. Okay, I do really enjoy this a lot and I plan to read it again to refresh myself and to also make sure that I'm giving it um, the um, the appropriate amount of praise because sometimes, you know, I be reading stuff and I love it and I praise it and then I go back and read it and I'm like, girl, next up I have Clover, also by Clamp. Um, this one, which I've talked about this previously, but this one, the spine completely cracked. I was absolutely, absolutely devastated. I need to see if I can get um, a, a new copy. It, ugh, I, I, you know, just to a little complaint, these are both Dark Horse Omnibus versions, and I don't know how this thick old clunker, the spine is fine, whereas this one, is not as thick, but it's spine just like cracked. I was like, <laughs> I'm also sad about the fact that this, I, I wanna save my, my opinions for the Clamp video, but this is definitely not on my top favorites of Clamp's titles. Um, mainly because it, did, it didn't make no, no kind of sense. <laughs> it, like I didn't understand what the heck was going on. It had potential, but it just, it didn't, it, it just didn't hit. If you are a super fan of Clamp and will collect anything they do, go ahead and get this. But if you are not a super fan of Clamp, I would say, you know what, go, go ahead and skip this. Especially with these freaking, look at this, look at this spine. Dark Horse, do better. Next, I have two more Clamp titles that are in omnibus form. Magic Knight Ray Earth and Magic Knight Ray Earth Part 2. I do not count these as Volume 1 and Volume 2 because this is a whole series in and of itself. And this is the sequel. You can read this and not read this. Um, I haven't read this one yet. I have read this and I absolutely loved it so, 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 so much. I'm so excited for the collector's edition that's coming out soon. I actually can't remember exactly when it's supposed to come out, but I know I pre-ordered it. And last but not least, within my Clamp Omnibus titles, I have Legal Drug. This is one that I adore. Legal Drug gives me a lot of Holic vibes and Holic as of right now, is my favorite Clamp title of all time. It was also the first Clamp title I ever read. And there is also a crossover within this series later on. In the sort of sequel, Drag and Drop, this is 
a sequel, but it's more of a continuation. And I think this happened because there was like, they had to switch their magazine or something like that. And so the title was changed to Drug and Drop. And I'm mentioning this in this video because we only have two volumes of Drug and Drop and then this was dropped. <laughs> Which is so sad because it ends in a way that feels very unfinished and I really liked the story a lot and I would love to see more from this. I'm hoping, hoping that one day they can get back to this story. I'm sure there's a lot going on behind the scenes that I have no idea about so I'm sure there's a really good reason why but I'm really sad. But anyway, like I said, I'm mentioning this because there are only two volumes and it fits with the theme of this video but I just really wish, <laughs> I just want to see more from this. This is when they get into the crossover with Holic and I, I just wanted more, okay? So I do want to sneak in a title that I'm not fully sure if it's an omnibus or if it is just a single volume title, and that is The Heart of Thomas by Moto Hagio. I came across this purely by accident, luck, at a comic book shop in Dallas. Saw this and was like, ooh, I have some other Moto Hagio titles. I should grab this one, not realizing that this is pretty out of print and not realizing that it is selling for a lot of money on the internet. I had no idea, so I feel very lucky to have come across this. The reason I'm adding this into the video is because one, I just, I kind of wanted to just show this because I'm really excited about it. And two, I think this is an omnibus. I could very much be wrong, but I get the sense that this was originally printed in single volumes, maybe in Japanese. And then when it did get translated into English, they just decided to put it all together in one. But I don't know, someone else who knows more about this title could probably tell me in the comments. I'm looking at you, Whimsical Pictures, and at you, Simply G, because y'all y'all know all about Motohagio, but I think this is an omnibus, so I wanted to include this here. I have not read this yet, but I mean, of course I'm going to. I'm going to read everything on my shelves, so yeah. So let's get into the two volume titles on my shelves, and we're just going to go ahead and talk about Motohagio some more. I have volumes one and two of Otherworld Barbara. I started reading this almost as soon as my order arrived, but I did put it down, and I haven't picked it back up again. I'm not really sure why. I enjoyed what I read, but do y'all ever get distracted by other titles sometimes? Not necessarily because whatever you're currently reading is not good, but just because there's so much to read that you just kind of like skip around. And I'm also a moody reader, so it sometimes I'm not necessarily in the mood for certain genres. I do plan to pick this back up soon, but like I said, I plan to read everything on my shelves. As long as I'm still alive, it's gonna get read. Next I have volumes one and two of Servant X Service. Technically this is a four volume series that has been put into two omnibus volumes. This is a very cute slice of life office romance comedy it's, just, it's a lot of things that I love. I think because I don't work outside of the home anymore, I've become even more fascinated with what it's like to be an office worker. <laughs> I don't even want to be an office worker. To be honest, I don't really want to have to work outside of my home ever again if I could help it. So I like reading about people who do. Next up I have a BL title called Until the Full Moon. I found this at Half Price Books. Yep, for $5 a piece, and you know, I read the back of the first one and was like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get this. It's about these two young men, I think they are vampires. Well, one of them's definitely a vampire and the other one is supposed to be a vampire, or a werewolf, or something like that. Yeah, that's what it is. One of them's a, a vampire and the other one is half vampire, half werewolf. I believe, and the one that is half werewolf has a secret, and his secret is that he transforms into a woman at the full moon. I have not read this yet. I'm really excited to. I actually wanted to read this um, on BL Day, or what is it, 8, 801 Day, but I didn't because I was too busy reading web comics. <laughs> 
Next up, I have this beauty of a collector's edition of Nausicaa. So, I first heard about this title from Laura from Manga Hoarder. I do love Miyazaki's works, but I have not seen all of them, and Nausicaa is one that I have not seen. Laura speaks of this so highly that I, I know I have to read this. And also, because I am familiar with his movies, I know this is gonna be amazing. Next up, I have a clamp title that I totally forgot was in this pile, and that is Tokyo Babylon. This was actually released in single volumes, but I have the omnibus volumes, obviously. There are only two, y'all. If you have not read Tokyo Babylon and you are a clamp fan, you need to get on it. If you have not read Tokyo Babylon and you're a fan of older manga from like the 90s, you need to read this. What are you doing? Oh dang! See, look, I'm looking through the stack. I found another clamp title that I forgot, Angelic Lair. This also comes in single issues if you want to look for them, or you can get these two omnibus versions, and I haven't read this one either. I'm going to, okay? I don't know how many times I have to say this. Stop judging me. I'm gonna read it. I feel like y'all saw my Twitter post when I was talking about people not reading their stuff, that their books that they buy, and now y'all are sitting here judging me. I can feel the judgment. It's fine, I can take it. Oh, dang it. Oh, dang. Dang. I just, there's so much clamp in here that I keep forgetting. So, <laughs> this is <laughs> Clamp School Defenders Duckleon. Is it Duckleon? Duckleon. <clears throat> this is Clamp School Defenders Duke Leon. Um, I did read this and it is absolutely hilarious. This is an action comedy. It's very much a parody of the superhero genre, more specifically the superheroes that wear like the kind of like Power Rangers type superheroes, you know what I'm talking about? Very much a parody of that. Hilarious. And this is definitely one of my favorite Clamp series. Not the favorite, but one of them. And another title I really enjoy is Man of Many Faces, also by Clamp, also really funny. They actually tie in with Clamp School Defenders um, and another series that I have not mentioned yet because it has three volumes, so you'll see it in another video soon, but I, <laughs> I just love it. This is also action comedy. Um, this one follows this young man right here, or I should say little boy right here, who is a thief. He has two moms, and he does have a dad, but you don't really meet the dad until way later. But um, he has two moms, and they're always like, honey, we want you to steal this random thing for us. And he does it, and it's really funny to see how he does it and how he manages to just like, fool everyone. He's always, he always manages to escape, but he's having to juggle his life as a professional thief as well as an elementary school student, and it's so sweet and funny and pure. He also ends up meeting this little girl, and they have a very cute little relationship. In real life, I would not be here for it because I don't feel like little kids should be having relationships, but in a manga, they're adorable. It's very appropriate, and they do end up together in their grown-up years, and it's just precious. It's just precious, okay? So we're moving away from Clamp and into Fumi Yoshinaga. I have Ichigenme, the first class is Civil Law. It's a two-volume series. I actually don't really know what this is about. Have not read this, and incidentally, it has 801 on the back. Um, this is definitely BL. Fumi Yoshinaga does a lot of BL and I love her for it. Especially her explicit stuff. Y'all, mmm. <laughs> this sounds like the typical BL story where you have the one who's gay and the one who's straight and now he's questioning because the one who's gay turned him out. <laughs> A little problematic, but I'm gonna read it before I make any judgments. And last but not least, I have Gerard and Jacques. This is one that I am, I'm nervous, I'm nervous about because I have a feeling it revolves around the relationship between a man, a grown man, and a much younger person. So, 
that's all I have for today's video. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.